the Joe Rogan experience. Well, this article in The Atlantic was really disturbing where they were saying that if the people that are going in to find out if they have COVID, they can't even give them, this was in New York, they couldn't even give them a test because they didn't meet a certain criteria. And if they didn't have it before, they definitely have it now. Because uh, there's other people in this waiting room yeah. and they're all waiting and they're all sick and coughing like, fucking Christ. So what's the point at which you're supposed to go in? Because I just get it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? No, what I mean, what's the point where you should go to the doctor versus yeah, point. sit it out and try to? Because they say ninety percent of the people that come in have pneumonia or mm-hmm. or the flu. They mm-hmm. don't have COVID. Well, that's the thing is that the flu's still here, right? So yeah. it's happening at the same time as the flu. But it's a new thing, obviously. We know what to do with the flu. You can put, give people Tamiflu. You know, you can get a flu shot. You much le- le- We had uh, Dr. Hotez explain how even if you get a flu shot from the wrong kind of flu, if they make a vaccine, it still has enough of the the things in it that fight off parts of the flu. Because a flu is a, you know, a, a virus has a bunch of different components. And so it can mitigate some of the components, even if it's not the perfect uh, vaccine for, right. for that virus. So it still protects you somewhat, protects you better than not having anything. So that's the flu. Like there's a bunch of shit with this thing. They're like, we don't, we don't know. Yeah. You know, we don't, we really don't know. We don't know what's going on. I mean, people talk about all these different tra- uh, treatments that may or may not be effective, but this is too new. For the most part, you really just need a ventilator. I mean, that's the only thing you would need medical care for, right? Because they can't do much for you otherwise. Well, there's been some talk about Z packs, you know, but there's no there's no definitive ev- evidence. Yeah. And those when they run studies like that, it takes a long ass time mm. to get. You know, if they're doing double blind placebo controlled studies, they're trying to find out what. What does what and what's effective for what and any kind of clinical trial I think takes months, right? Oh Would no, a year. It's a year. Is it? Yeah, because they think they've already identified um some vaccines, but they said for it to be, you know, if you don't test it, you could put it out and kill as many people with the vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's weird. It's I so know. Weird. And at the same time, Tiger King becomes the number one show in the world. The same time, a documentary on wild tigers that are in captivity at this crazy dude's place who's married to two other crazy dudes who's in a battle with this lady who might have fed her ex-husband to tigers. All right, don't tell me I haven't seen it yet. Spoiler alert. Yeah. What do you think, Jamie? About the whole... about Did that lady feed her husband to the I... tiger? If I if you had a million dollars to They bet. reopened the case Did it yesterday. Yeah. Or they're looking back into it. They're looking into so it. So maybe, I don't know. Bro, I, I, if you have a husband that's a millionaire and you raise tigers and then that guy disappears and no one knows where he is, if that happens, I think people should be suspicious. They'd be like, hmm, where is he? You don't know where he is at all? Huh. He just went away. Huh. How many tigers do you have? You have a hundred tigers? Can we see your tiger? <laughs> <laughs> like, why isn't the documentary about that? You have a couple would, words with your tigers. Trank your tigers and examine their <laughs> shit and start running through lab like this human shit here. This is human. You you ate a human. This tiger ate a human. Oh my god, this lady fed her fucking husband to tigers. Mm. All she needs is a meat grinder. She must have a meat grinder. That's all she needs. She she throws the husband in the meat grinder, throws the piles out there where the tigers eat, and they just tear them apart. Like Scarface. 97, dude. 97. I think that was a real thing with uh, drug dealers, was getting a tiger for that reason. Oh, well, that's always been a thing with people with pigs. That was in that movie Snatch. Remember oh, that movie? that's right. That's right. Greedy pigs. Yeah. That guy with the crazy glasses. <laughs> <laughs>